beginner's tutorial on how to model a coffee cup in Blender 2.65. Let's get started. Alrighty, let's zoom in on our plane here. Shift C, start your cursor in the center. We're going to Shift A, I'm going to add a cube. We're going to tab into edit mode, hit W, subdivide. We're going to control tab and go to edge select, or you can select your edges down here. We're going to grab the edges on either X side. We're going to scale the X uh, 1.30. We're going to grab these ones on the Y axis. And we're going to scale the Y 1.30. And we're going to add a circle. It's 7 to go to your top view. We're going to scale this circle out right there. And what we're going to do. So yeah, we got we got the circle touching those outside edges. We're gonna grab these right here, and basically we, we want these to touch the outside edges of the circle. You'll understand why in just one moment. So scale X. That's pretty good. Let's see, got the right ones, cool. In Z mode, you want to scale the Y until it just touches the outside, and hit L. Select, select, select any one of these vertices right here on this uh, this circle and hit L. Hit, sorry, hit L. I said or Control L. Yeah, Control plus L, and then delete that uh, edges. There you go. Cool. All right, now we're gonna go over to our wrench up here and go to Modifier Subdivision Service Modifier. You're like that doesn't look like a coffee cup. Go ahead, bring that view up to two. We're gonna go to our faces. Select the top faces. I want you to hit E, Escape. Uh, uh, hit E again, hit escape, now scale this in right there hit E, escape, and then grab it on the Z axis and bring that down like that right there, I'm going to grab these faces right here yep, uh, hit E, escape uh, hit E again, escape, uh, scale it in scale it, hit E, escape, E is for screwed. I'm going to scale that and then grab that on the z-axis and bring it up. We've got a nice little ridge right there. And so, to make this look smoother, we'll smooth shade this by pressing T, going to toolbar, and go smooth shading. And right there, not too bad. So, we'll just bring that up so it's right on the x-axis there. And get that cursor out of there. So now we're going to make a handle. Now, to make this handle, let's see. We will apply this modifier. First things first, uh, Shift D, duplicate this, move one to the side, so in case you want to go back to it. And this one, hit apply on your modifiers. Cool. So you see this X axis is right on this, this center line right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick uh, any two right there. Put your, hit your one for your one view. And just extrude there, extrude, rotate, extrude that not too bad I'm gonna get a rotate thing going there and then you're gonna go down to about here go to your one view extrude rotate no sorry extrude extrude uh, rotate screwed rotate you get the deal don't worry too much about one or the other handles being out farther because if you look at this line right here you'll see and if you go into Z you'll go into a uh, wireframe mode and I'm just using my C select to make sure oh see I'm missing this whole loop right here alright so I got that cover it there so you see this line we're a little bit past that line so I'm just gonna hit G and X to grab it on the X axis it's going to pull it out so it's a little bit even so see that not too bad it's not going to matter too much now uh, Z back into solid mode face select and X and delete the faces right here X delete faces um, I'm going to go to my vertex select right here and I'm just going to grab this up on the Z axis like that and let's see nah, that's not a good idea All right. Same thing right here. I'm just going to grab GZ and bring it down to the Z axis. 
Uh, the reason I'm doing the handle this way, and you might be saying, oh geez, what are you doing? Do the back the back ones first. So you're going to grab these, uh, and it takes four vertices to make a face. So you got these two right here, you got these two right here, and now hit F to make a face. There you go. Right there, those four, F, make a face. You get the deal. And you can make a face with three, three vertices, but it's not going to be pretty. It won't hold shading very well. So this is, uh, in my experience, the best way to hold good shading. So right there, and we're going to hit A to select everything and go over to your uh, your, your uh, toolbar over here and hit remove uh, doubles just in case you got any, and we're going to recalculate the normals. There, not too bad. Now it's a pretty darn square, so let's just, let's just select it and let's just try adding a subserve to it. And we go to two. Not bad at all. And there you go. Really quick, really easy way to make a cup. And this is actually in cycles. So if we go to uh, new, add a material, a diffuse. I hit shift C, which brings your cursor to the center. Shift A, add a, uh, uh, a plane. Let's kind of scale it out. Duplicate your plane, scale it in, add a new material that's in emission. Duplicate it again. Uh, rotate your Y 90 degrees get a kind of basic three-point lighting setup over here and then duplicate this guy rotate the Z 90 degrees now if you go down here from material you go to rendered you'll get that now if this kind of stops at like 10 samples or something like that you need to go over to your camera up here and go down to um, it'll be light paths and sampling and go to your, your sampling your preview set that to zero Right there, and that'll just keep it going. And, you know, if you set it to 10, it'll stop at 10. That's for your preview seeds. This is what it will render out. Now, if you're really new and you don't know how to render something out, what we're going to have to do, press Z to go out of that, is you add a put your cursor. Wherever you put the cursor is where you'll add stuff. So I'm going to uh, put the cursor right there. Hit Shift A, add a camera. Um, to make our lives easy, you put Shift C. That's why we started doing everything at the center, because it's our center of our workspace. We're going to add an empty, and I like to use a single arrow, and just hit S and scale it out. So, with the arrow selected first, you're going to then select the camera, and hit uh, Control Shift C, Track to Constraint. Now the camera's going to go all wonky. You go up to this chain next to that orange box between the, the right there, and, hit, and for up, hit uh, Y, and for uh, 2, hit negative Z. Now you see this right here? With that... Uh, not not orange, that means it's not the active camera. You want to hit control zero and that'll make this the active camera now. So if, uh, let me bring down the samples. If I put this to uh, 30 samples, go right here. Now if um, you go up to here, you can hit render. I have mine on a shortcut for F15. To make a shortcut, you just right click, change shortcut, I'm doing F15. So right there. Oh, Let's see. That's the wrong. Uh, Oh, that's the right one. Also, you want to check and make sure that your layers are set. So, right now we're good. So, I'm going to render that again. I'm sorry. Prematurely stopped. And there you go. Real quick, easy way. Now, uh, you'll also notice that that, see this, this uh, plane? If you're looking at it, this is our plane that we're using is a light right there. Um, a quick way to make that not visible by the camera. So, you go to this orange box at the very bottom, we'll see ray visibility. Take the camera off. And now, if you, uh, you can also go to redder mode right here, you'll see the camera's gone. Uh, if you don't like this gray background, you go right up to here to the world setting and just take that down to black. And I'll give you that right there. And you'll notice, actually, go to our lighting here. Try to give it some different colors. Um, it'll help you break up and know where the light is coming from. So let's just see something here. So I got that one selected. I'm going to hit U. That makes all these different users. So I'll give this a little blue. Get that a little red, and I'll give this guy white. We'll make the side light to a three. Eh, not too bad at all. Save. All right. Hope I helped, and uh, happy blending.